Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to the workshop where we're building part two of the series of the Mr. Vintage uh, RC model aeroplane. Uh, I'd just like to take you through uh, what I've done so far, and that is to mount the drawing or the plan onto my magnetic building board. Uh, I've just done that by securing it sort of uh, nice and tight to the board with masking tape all the way around the outside so it doesn't wrinkle up. I've also covered the surface in cling film. Uh, just the, your normal everyday cling film that you pinch out of the kitchen when the wife's not looking. Um, the idea of this is to stop any glue drying and sticking to the, the plan, you know, whilst you're building it. And, you know, just keeps your plan in good order. You never know, you might need the drawing at a later date if you need to repair the aircraft or you want to make another one. So I like to keep the plan or the drawing, you know, as good as possible. As you can see, I've started laying out the, the back end of the fuselage, um, which is all constructed out of six by six wood. I've already laminated this part here. Uh, this is to give extra strength for for the tail that you can see. I've already glued that together prior to putting it onto the plan. Um, as you can see, this is the part for the other side. Um, and you can see where I've glued it together there. You just see the joint. If I turn it sideways, if it will focus on. Oops, I don't think it will. Ah, if you focus on, you can see I've done a scarf joint there to just to give it a little bit more extra strength. Um, I've sorted out the rest of the strip wood out of out of the kit, out of the box, and you can see uh, the person who's put all this uh, kit together is marked everything up, so you know exactly which wood is for which part. So that wood strip wood is for all these uh, cross members here. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is actually cutting each each one of these. Obviously, I need two parts to make two sides of the fuse large, which I'm going to cut off together um, and, you know, make size all in one go. Um, and then once I've completed the one side, obviously the other side is going to be exactly the same. So uh, what I do here, I tend to cheat a little bit, is when, once I've built the first side, I'm going to cover these strip pieces on the joints here with uh, some greaseproof paper and actually build the second side on top of the first side. Um, that will ensure that I get two halves exactly the same. The only difference is are the cross pieces. As you can see, the one side goes the one way on the other side it shows it in dotted going the other way but the actual structure is exactly the same um, the vertical pieces are exactly the same it's just the cross members that go in the opposite direction so it's just the infill bits that is so that that's nothing nothing hard to do but at least you get two sides exactly the same which is the name of the game um, I've moved on slightly to the front of the fuselage um, what I always do is uh, lay the two sides out opposite so uh, you, you get a left hand side and a right hand side and once I've done that I always mark on which part is which inside right and inside left as you can see I've uh, already glued some uh, strip wood on both sides uh, that was my first thing and then I've glued uh, former F1 F2 F3 and F4 on to the inside right um, for that I've used uh, the epoxy glue the five minute epoxy now I'll give you a tip with this the secret of this is when you glue these parts on to get an exact 90 degree angle so uh, basically, it's got to be absolutely perfectly vertical. Yeah, um, I do that obviously by putting glue on the one side. Um, and if I check it with my square, if you can see this, I'll just offer it up. As you can see, that is absolutely bang on. And so is the next one. You can see it's bang on and so on and so on. 
so they're all absolutely vertical um, this is critical so when you get to this stage really take your time even if it means gluing one former at a time um, I'm quite used to using this glue and I sort of know what I'm doing so I, I managed to do all four at the same time but if you're beginning uh, I advise you just to do one at a time uh, you've got all the time in the world to uh, actually make this model so you know take your time get it right this ensures um, the model is going to come out square when you put it together because obviously this side uh, will be going on to there like so it's a bit hard to show you with one hand like that but you you get the gist of what we're doing um, when that other side is glued on obviously the box section is all going to be bang on square the ends are going to be level and you, you know everything so uh, that's the name of the game so just take your time when you're doing this so that's about it for this video um when you come back hopefully i will have completed the one side with all the cross member pieces in place um and probably I'll, I'll be starting the other side which i can show you once them are completely constructed it's just a matter of gluing them into place into the side box section so uh, that should be quite a simple job really um, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video just to show you where we're up to if you have please like and subscribe press the bell button so you get further notifications and uh, I look forward to meeting you and seeing you in part three